Hi, so this video is on how to repair or disassemble and assemble a wheel on a Thule chariot. So this is from a Thule chariot cougar around uh, 2005 year model. I don't know if they have changed anything after or before that. So hopefully it's the same as your wheel. And the reason I needed to do this is because on this wheel you see there is a broken spoke and to replace that spoke I needed to remove this. So the plastic bit that is the parking brake. Because it's in the way of actually moving and putting in the spoke. The wheel looks like a classic bicycle wheel. It has a classical bicycle rim, tire, spoke, spoke nipple. And I actually have the other wheel already disassembled. So let's go back a bit. I'm going to call this side the outer side and this side the inner side because it goes in against the carrier. So on the disassembled wheel it looks like this on the outer side there's a, a bearing stuck here and the in, inner side is just the empty hole like that. And the bit that go inside the hub look like this. So from the outer side there's a nut, a lock nut with one of those rubber rings inside. We have the, the axle, a lock ring, the plastic parking brake, looks like this, and a seal bearing that goes inside this plastic the pl parking plastic bit. So, uh, the lock ring also goes on this here and the three nuts on the end. And this is the quick release when you push in. When you push in, the two bearings go inside. I, I don't know if this if it's possible to open this. If you want to service it, I guess you can put some lube through the small holes in the ends and also where the bearings are. The okay. I'm going to go back a bit. So one thing I actually don't know is this plastic cover, it's like a dust cover. The, the wheel that I've disassembled had already this fallen off, so I don't know how to remove it. It seems to be quite stuck. I tried to peeling it off, but it's there's no space and it doesn't come off. So I'll, I'm going to leave it on, on this wheel because I don't need to take it off. Uh, I'm going to assemble. I'm going to show you some measurements on the parts. Hopefully, uh, somebody will have use for them in the future. Uh, who knows? <laughs> uh, let's start from the outer side. So this nut. The dimensions on the nut. So the outer dimension 
is exactly half an inch or in millimeters it's about 19 almost 19 millimeters here it says it's 18.9 actually so about that and I'm not going to measure the inside because I'm going I get to that now so the axle the nut Uh, the nut is a lock nut with the uh, rubber with the uh, rubber ring goes on the axle here the axle is half an inch exactly half an inch and i think i was wrong in measuring this okay so 90 millimeters that's actually three quarters of an inch so wrong before three quarters of an inch on the outer on the nut the inside of the nut is half an inch because this axle is half an inch here the little lock ring that um, it should fit the uh, half an inch axle if you for some reason need the outer diameter it's about 21 millimeters uh, yeah 21 millimeters and ball bearing sealed ball bearing so the dimension on the on ball bearings is always printed on the side so here it says r8 dash 2 rs so r8 dash 2 rs if you google that you will get to the exact dimensions and it's quite cheap to buy new ones if for some reason it's not silky smooth you can buy new ball bearings and replace them quite cheap stuff uh, if you google r8 to dash to rs you will find the dimensions so the dimensions for this ball bearing is the inside the, like hole in the middle called the bore is half an inch the, the outer diameter like this is one inch and one eighth so one and one eighth of an inch and then the thickness is Five sixteenth of an inch. Five sixteenth of an inch. Awesome. Great. And uh, this plastic bit. I don't know if it's possible to buy a new one. Hopefully somewhere. Uh, I'm now going to show you how to assemble everything together. So, the wheel. Mm. Okay, so let's start with the ball bearings. So the ball bearings go on the inner side. Push them into here. Like that. And 
put this plastic bit on the wheel, so on the inner side. Just putting it on, match, matching it up with the spokes. It's a bit tricky, but you have to push down on it. Okay, so yeah, I just push down. I actually take something and slightly. Then, from the outer side, I'll take the axle. Push it through here. Lock nut. Need to tighten it. And then from the inner side, I'm, I'm pulling on the axle. I see now that the bearings popped up a bit, so I'll push them inside again and pull out the axle. And then on the axle, there is um, like a groove. It's very hard to see. Ah, there you see the groove, and that's where the lock ring is going. This bit. This is actually the trickiest part, so bear with me. To tighten the the nut, I'll use uh, wrench. I think it's called wrench on one side to hold this, and another one to turn it. This is because I don't have the proper size. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it, I'll tighten the nut until there's no play, play like sideways in this direction. And hopefully not too tight because then the bearings won't run as smooth. So no play, but not too tight, so, no, so the bearings run smooth. And that's how you assemble and disassemble a wheel on a Thule chariot. Hope you find something of this interesting. If there is uh, any new information in the future, I'll add it in the descriptions. And uh, feel free to comment or send me a message if you have any questions. Good luck!